Will he guess it all? The engines on the island of Soda were busier than ever. Some of them have favourite jobs. Percy delivers the mail. Gordon pulls the express. Thomas works on his branch line. And Lady takes the milk to and from the dairy her friend, Willie, the dairy truck. One day, Willie was at the shunting yard. He was watching Henry pulling the heavy goods train. He was wishing he could be part of a goods train too. Then, Lady came into the yard. Hello, Willie, she whistled. We've got a very special job to do today. First, we need to collect the milk and cream to make the ice cream sundae, and boxes of sundae glasses, and some tanks of different syrup, and then we need to collect some strawberries to go with it. How excited, said Willie. But I think we can take them all at once. It will save our time, so we don't have to take several trips. Well, if you insist, agreed Lady. But she didn't know that this was all Willie's idea. He wanted to be just like a heavy goods train. Lady and Willie went over to the dairy. The milk and cream were waiting in the vats of Sundale glasses. Now the syrup tankers, said Willie. They collected three syrup tankers filled with chocolate, strawberries, and raspberry. Finally, they arrived at Holly Farm, and Willie was loaded with boxes of strawberries. Willie smiled secretly, and Lady pulled away with a long line of trucks. Lady was pulling as hard as she could, but she wasn't used to pulling such a heavy load. It's very hard work, she puffed. But you can do it, Lady, called Willie. Soon, Lady was steaming up Gordon's hill. Must get to the top, must get to the top, she huffed. But she went slower and slower and slower. Then there was trouble. Just as Lady reached the top of the hill, the coupling between Lady and Willie broke loose. And Willie and the train rolled backwards. Help, Lady! yelled Willie. Oh no, Willie! cried Lady. The guard slipped out of his van, but he picked himself up and blew his whistle to warn another train. Thomas was puffing along the line when he heard a whistle. That sounds like a guard's whistle, he thought. But we haven't a guard. Suddenly, he looked up ahead. Willie was racing towards Thomas. Help! He cried as he rattled past. Cinders and ashes! cried Thomas. Thomas! whistled Lady. Help me to catch Willie! So Thomas and Lady race after the runaway Willie. Willie was having the frightened ride of his life. Ooh, ah, he exclaimed. I didn't expect this to happen. Then he saw Thomas racing to his rescue. Help me, Thomas, he cried. I'm going to try to get behind you, Willie, called Thomas. I'm going to try to slow you down. He changed tracks and he slowed down a little. With a bump, 
The trucks buffered into Thomas. Then Thomas put the brakes hard on. With a sigh of relief, Willie stopped. Phew, remarked Willie weirdly. I finally stopped. Just then, Lady arrived. She was so relieved that Willie was all right. Oh, Willie, why did you break away? Willie looked ashamed. I'm very sorry, Lady. I asked you to collect all the trucks because I wanted to be part of a heavy goods train, just like Henry's goods train was. Lady smiled. But Willie, you're not like the other trucks. You're a dairy truck, and you are made to carry fresh cheese, milk, butter, and fruit and vegetables. That's right, added Thomas. But other trucks can carry crates of machineries, coal, stones, and slates. Then Willie smiled with agreement. You're right, he said. I guess I have been a bit silly today. Thomas's driver went to check to see if the Sundell glasses were okay. Luckily, they were all right. Soon, Thomas, Lady, and Willie went on to continue their delivery. After the job was done, the friends put happily home, and Willie knew that from now on, he would be the best dairy truck on Soto.